Hello, this is uh, Susanna Mornati from For Science, a major contributor to the development of DSpace 7. Among our contributions, there is the live import framework support. The live import framework support has been added to the submission form and to the REST API endpoint for the release of the beta 4 version of DSpace 7. There are two ways uh, to import metadata of publications from external sources. This is a very useful uh, feature because uh, it allows to save time of the researchers and uh, all the people who input uh, metadata into, into this space. So the first uh, way to import metadata of publications uh, through the live import framework is to drag and drop a bibliographic file into the submission form or directly in the uh, from the MyDSpace page. Now we are on the MyDSpace page, and uh, here you see on the top of the of the screen a box where you can drag and drop your files, or you can browse your uh, computer and uh, uh, look for the file that you want to upload. This um, uh, functionality supports a variety of file formats, including uh, comma-separated value, uh, RIS. And Node, PubMed, Archive, and the framework allows you to integrate more resources. Uh, the second way to uh, use the live import uh, functionality uh, is to search an external source for publications to import. Um, you see here you have an icon uh, that allows you to launch this functionality. It currently supports ORCID, PubMed, Sherpa, but uh, again, the framework allows you to integrate uh, 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 this space with other resources. Now we uh, proceed with a live demo of this functionality. We click on the, this button, import metadata on the top uh, um, right of the screen. Okay, from this screen, we can uh, input a search uh, um, String. We chose, of course, uh, we choose, of course, uh, the external source where we want to upload the metadata. So we choose PubMed here, and uh, then we can uh, input our search string or cut and paste it from somewhere. Okay. Now we have our string. We have selected our database. So we hit uh, the search button, and here we get the search results. And for instance, we can uh, start with the first one, click on the uh, icon to import uh, the result. And uh, here we have a, an item preview with some of the metadata that are available in PubMed related to the uh, item that we want to import. So clicking uh, down on a start submission button, we go to our um, uh, selection of collections. We, we choose one collection here and we get the input form related to that collection uh, where you see uh, the magic of this uh, uh, live import framework support is that you uh, fi find all the metadata pre-filled. So you find the authors here, then you can scroll down and uh, you find the title and you find uh, the uh, identifier, you find the uh, language that is pre-filled, uh, you find the subject keywords all filled in and the abstract and so on. So this is an easy way to import metadata from uh, authorized uh, sources and uh, to save the time of your researchers. Thank you for watching.